Death. The poem on death. I wrote this poem for three basic reasons. Number one, just as a joke, simply as a joke. Number two, in a subtle bid to protest or speak against the funeral flatteries. And number three, also to let people know or to express my views that uh, death is a tool that helps us to move from the earthly to the heavenly, from the celest from the terrestrial to the celestial. It's a technique that has been put there by God that helps facilitate our onward, upward, inward journey, Godwards. And so it has a key role that it, it plays in human lives. Death is not terribly unfriendly. I want people to think that way. Life is great. Life on earth is great. However, there is the afterlife. And without death, almost everybody will be stuck here. Not everybody is like Enoch or Elijah who attained that high spiritual level to be translated. You know, chariots of fire, taken away. So for most people, death is a tool that transports them from the temporal to the permanent or the mortal to the immortal. I think we should have some respect for death. Sure, people desire to live long lives and that's a great thing. You know, it's a great thing. However, let's not hit death. Let's pray it comes in its right time for us. And my right time may not be your right time. You see. Death. Death. Why it? Death. Why? Death brings glory to you. You may be despised, hated, and rejected. You may be considered irrelevant, but alas comes death. And you are treated with some respect. <laughs> People say so many good things about you. You are glorified. You are honored. Your soul rests in perfect peace. And guess what? Thanks to death, who makes it so? Wow. Now let's listen to our friend, the virtual voice, who goes by the name Celos, as he does his thing. Death. Why hey death? Why? Death brings glory to you. You may be despised and rejected, hated, and considered irrelevant, but alas comes death. But you are treated with some respect, people say so many good things about you, you are glorified, you are honored, your soul rests in perfect peace, thanks to death who makes it so.